Hey guys, Brandon and Laura here. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and a review of our new Verizon 5G home internet. Let's check it out. Alright, let's see what's in the box. So we got the welcome to Verizon 5G home internet card. And this is the modem slash router, 5G router. This is not the router with millimeter wave. This is the one that has the newer C band. And this router should be capped at 300 megs down and 20 up. So we're going to test that out. And then see what else is in the box. Looks like we got power cord and Ethernet cable. So let's hook it up and see how it does. Alright guys, we're just going to plug this in right over here and let it fire up and got a white light blinking, so we'll let that thing fire up and then we're going to connect it to the computer. I'm not even going to use the Ethernet cable. I just want to see how fast it is with the Wi-Fi and the cube is sitting right by our large window right by our desktop so as soon as that light i don't know if it's supposed to stop blinking or not but we're just going to wait here for a minute and see what happens but pretty excited to try it out from what i've read these things are really fast for being cellular but we'll see here in a minute. We'll do a speed test on the computer and I'm actually going to be using an old Pixel 1 to do a speed test. The reason why I'm using a Pixel is just want to see what it's like on an older phone and also use the Pixel 1 because it has unlimited full resolution Google Photos backup for life as long as they're uploaded through the phone. So highly recommended that you guys pick one of those up. So I'm going to turn on the computer and then we'll get to speed testing. So. We'll check it out. All right, guys, now we are going to run a speed test on my Lenovo Flexbook. Let's see how fast it gets on this. Two hundred megs down, pretty good. Now you see the upload jump up into the thirties, and then it throttles back down to twenty. And here's the real test right here. Let's see if video is actually throttled. We're gonna get a fast dot com, which is owned by Netflix to see what your video throttle is. And it looks like Verizon 5G Home does not throttle video. So you can stream in 4K to your heart's content. It is unlimited. 
and that's decently impressive. A lot of times you could do a speed test on speedtest.net and you'll get the speed, but if you want to see what your video speed is, because a lot of these carriers, you get unlimited data, but they throttle your video. You know, depending on your plan, it could be right around 1.9 to 2 megs down. You know, the plan I'm on, I get HD. I'm on a grandfathered plan, so mine's about 3.8 to 4.1 down. Um, but this one is not throttled at all, so that is pretty, pretty good. Pretty happy about that. All right, guys, here is a speed test on an original Pixel 1. One thirty down, not bad for a phone from twenty sixteen. As expected, the upload is capped right around twenty. All right, guys, we're gonna play a video on YouTube on our TV and see how easy it plays in four K. So I'm just gonna play a random video. We'll do this colors of the ocean and see how it does if we go up to settings quality quality 2160p so that is 4k and yeah it looks like it's streaming pretty good no problems Yes, yeah, so all in all, it's a pretty solid route, router, uh, $25 a month if you have an unlimited plan with them. Like I said, we even have an older grandfathered unlimited plan from 2019, Get More Unlimited, Mix and Match 2.0, and that even qualifies for the home internet to be 50% off, so it's only $25 extra a month it sure beats a lot of the other providers around here that are at least double that so I would definitely say highly recommended alright guys please like and subscribe and share this video and all our other ones it would be very much appreciated till next time